Hey guys, Hotly here, and I've just completed building my first server from pretty much scratch. It's so like sketchy and makeshifty. So yeah, I don't know where to start. Well, first of all, we got some this case here, which I got for 50 bucks. It's a super micro case, totally freaking ancient. Has three redundant power supplies, and somehow managed to actually like connect to the motherboard. So yeah, but I did um, do a little bit of research to make sure that it was the right size and everything. So all the holes line up and every, all that shit. But uh, the CPU connector here was extremely tough to get in. And same with the motherboard connector, it was just like millimeters of space to work with. Um, price wise, for well, the case I got for about 50 bucks with three uh, hot swappable power supplies and the hot swappable hard drives. And uh, the RAM I got for 50 bucks, 15 gigs, you know, figure it's a good deal. And uh, the CPUs I got for 30 bucks each, they are quad core uh, Xeon L5518. So they're low voltage. And here we are, we have the bar showing up. Let's see if we can show the CPUs. So there they are, L5518. Um, I got these because they have great performance, um, roughly the same as a bit better than the i7-920 for the consumer-based processors and they're low voltage so they use max of like 60 watts very very low usage I thought um, most of your CPUs could probably like you could have two of your CPUs running for how much one it both fuck man oh. I'm just so happy that I can't think straight <laughs> Anywho, um, sadly enough, probably the most expensive parts of this setup is just the two power or heat sinks there. I'm like, just take a close look. They almost do not fit, so uh, these were just two uh, like heat sinks. Um, I got the boxes here, so I can show you guys. Um, the Cooler Master, I know for, they're for like PCs, so Gemini. 2 M4 CPU cooler. I know. Originally, I was just going to put the heat sinks on, and well, I managed to get the fans on as well. So, yeah, it's loud. Um, I'll do something about that in the future. And uh, yeah, oh yeah, the motherboard. I got that for 50 bucks as is, so untested. So glad it works because fuck I I was so sketchy trying to get the heat sinks on because they weren't exactly you know made for server boards so I took out a drill and started drilling holes into it and took out uh, these little pieces so I could actually get them out but it worked out it didn't actually kill my motherboard so I'm happy otherwise I would have to spend like 250 bucks on eBay or something. So uh, added up the entire setup. Um, it'd been motherboard 50, RAM 50, so 100, two CPUs 60, uh, two fans, uh, well plus taxes, so 70, so 160 for 70. Oh, no that adds up to so, um, 280, and then 50 bucks for the case, so 330 dollars or whatever, assuming that my math is right. So. I think it's pretty good, $350, and I gotta make my own server. I just plop in some hard drives, probably $50 worth, so. Yeah, $380, nearly $400 server. That's one hell of a deal, though, considering that it has uh, the same processing power as, um, like, the i7-470K or whatever, you know. Pretty high-end shit. Anywho, this is Hot Nuke here, and you guys can come check out my blog. Ah, fuck it, just subscribe to me on YouTube. See you guys later.